welcome to another video this is Sanjay Prakash Pradhan and I am a Microsoft certified trainer and I am delivering training in Dynamics 365 and Power Platform today in this video I will tell you how we can capture the tweets that has been done for your organization by different users that means we want to convert the Twitter users as your customer using Power Automate right now in these days you know that how Twitter and social media are in impact right so it is always best practice to capture candidates or to capture customers from uh, social media to your Dynamics 365 customer database so I want to capture those tweeters who are tweeting something about my business as a customer right so let us see how we, how we can do uh, do that so this is my Twitter right and I have a Twitter uh, account and uh, I can tweet anything in my Twitter board right so let us configure uh, a power automate so that I can read those Twitter users and post it in my data first contacts right so click on power automate open the power automate and click on create here you have to click on automated cloud flow because you want to trigger a flow whenever a new tweet is posted now click on skip here I don't want to use that small pop-up rather I'll write down here the name of the power automate let's say capture uh, let's say I want to use let's say convert Twitter users age customer okay now once I have given the name of the power automate I will search the connector what would be my connector my connector is Twitter so search Twitter as connector once you click on Twitter as a connector you will see the trigger when a new tweet is posted click on this now it will ask you to authenticate because these are authenticated through you know social media so click on sign in it will open the Twitter uh, Twitter login panel so that you can authorize Twitter you can authorize the Microsoft power platform to communicate with Twitter account right so you can use your uh, uh, username password to provide the authorization you can provide the authorization now it is redirecting authorization has been given so now you can identify search text this power automate will capture or search the text that you provide here you can use hashtag you can use uh, at the red symbol at the red username or you can use some keyword let's say I want to use a hashtag let's say hashtag I want to use subchief right I want to search all those tweets who are tweeting or who are posting some tweets uh, giving my hash code give my you know hashtag right so now once it is identified I will add a step what I want to do I want to connect data first and create records and contact records I want to create so click on add new row and choose the table which table you want to uh, use to store the data I want to use contact so I can use contact entity and in the contact entity I want to insert data right so first name last name all those informations are required right so click on the last name now if you click on this dynamic add dynamic value you can see here in this Twitter trigger you find all of these options that you can use tweet text tweeted by who tweeted this name of the user right this is the name of the user who has posted the tweet name of the user location of the user username description right now you can use anything so in the last name I want to specify the username so I can search here the name I can search name right. this is the username I want to use the screen name as last name and in the first name I want to specify the dynamic value called as tweeted by right or name of the user I can specify here and uh, in the location I can define the location in the city I can define the city here if city is not there you can define the location right and street everything you can capture right and once more you want to capture the uh, 
tweet information right what is the context what is the information that has been tweeted i want to store in details right so go to details you can define your own field to capture the quote uh, to tweets otherwise you can use detail section sorry it was not uh, let me search contact some problem is there let me delete this step again and i will connect to again a new step then dataverse then add a new row then search for contact so this is the contact in the contact i want to specify the last name as username and the first name as the name of the user who posted this tweeted by and i want to use another field to store the tweet information right so what i will take let's say i will take uh, is there any comment or detail section available no we just go down no so i do not have any field to store that information right so what i have to do i have to save it and i'll go back to the uh, power apps and go to the table to add a tweet field right i want to take a field to store the tweet information from the twitter right so i can go to contacts and create a new field I'll go here and click new con new column and tweets. So I'll just use text area and click on done and save it. Now once it is saved, I can go here and try to refresh this Power Automate. I can go back to the my flow and search this click on edit and click on add row now I can see my new column here right the field is tweets so if I'll scroll down I can see the field here is the tweets I can click this and click on dynamic field and search here tweet I want to text and save it click on save now it is ready to test right so click on test click on manual test right now I'll go here and try to post something using hashtag subchief the training is so nice in power platform right and use a hashtag shop chip because i have used the trigger to identify the shop chip hashtag only so click on tweet as soon as you tweet this after this tweet the flow will capture the tweet information and it will insert the tweeting tweet information in the power app contacts now go here and go to data in the contact and uh, just use custom columns and uh, the custom columns tweet can you see that this new uh, this new pay, new record is added in the contact database right this is the record which has been created and if you go to the run history of the power automate also you can see the first name last name and uh, tweet information has been captured 
now this way you can capture any tweet that contains some hashtag you can see here the first name is the last name and this is the tweet so tweet information i have not added the uh, field on the form that's why it is not dis displaying here but you can see here you can add this tweet information tweet column on the uh, form so that you can see this can you see that now like that you can capture all this information who is tweeting inside your dynamics 365 entities right so this is how you can connect any social media it's about gmail or any social media to capture this tweeting informations and about the customer information so that you can approach this customer to purchase some products from your company thank you guys for your time i hope it helps how we capture twitter information or twitter user according to the according by checking the information about a uh, hashtag or some search tag thank you for your time see you